Hello there, Itru here. Today we're going to be having a look at the hotkeys you can utilize in Anno 1800. We'll have a quick look at the common keys I use on a regular basis. We'll be having a look at some of the more interesting key combinations you can bring together. And we'll be having a look at some of the more hidden combinations or hotkeys you can utilize in the game. So there is going to be a fair a bit of information to go through. So we'll try to keep it as relevant and to the point as we can. So first thing we'll have a look at is navigation and camera. So obviously we have the arrow keys in Z and X for rotating the camera and we have the clicking of the scroll wheel and holding it down to have more finite control over here. Now we also have these are all customizable in the game options as well under here. We also have the option to jump around the maps. Now, what you can utilize is the space bar, and this will bring up the world map here. And we can click on each of the actual destinations here and it'll jump, it, jump us to each of them. The space bar is a really useful piece of information as well to actually understand exactly how far through the transit your ships are between continents. So if you're ever wondering where your shipment of corn is, you sent it and you're not too sure how far through the route it is, you can actually see where it is on a visual representation. So if we have a look at the new world here, I'll jump us straight into here. However, if you don't want to go through that menu and you just want a quicker way of doing it, you can utilize if you have the number pad on the right of the keyboard, the one for the old world, two for the new world, three for the Cape, four for the Arctic, and five for Mbessa. So let's jump back over to the Cape. Now, if we have a look at, if you're going to be doing more beauty builds and aesthetically pleasing builds and stuff like that, as you can see here, we have lots of ships that are just floating around that have the waiting icon over here. And we also have the icons above production buildings over here. If you ever want to get rid of those because they're unsightly and you want a more immersive gameplay, press L. Now we'll get rid of the icons above any of the buildings and any of the, uh, these ships as well. Now if you do like taking screenshots or videos, you have a couple of options. If you get rid of the actual HUD, you can do Control and G. If you want to minimize the bars down here, you can just press B to get rid of the building menu. And if you want to take a postcard picture, you can do F1 and that'll jump you into postcard mode, which is a free fly camera. Now, there is a bonus for the F1 key. If you do it when you have a ship selected, it'll actually put you into a chase camera. So you're actually going to be following the individual ship and then you can just get some very dynamic and interesting shots here. So if we have a look at the ornaments and housing next. Now when you place down a ornament previously and by default the game will have it building down with a dark grass tile underneath of it. Now, with a recent update, they did actually give you the option to change the actual grass color to have a more natural image versus the unlaid down grass. So if we select the ornament here and do Shift and G, that will change the grass type over to a more natural matching color for the actual unbuilt upon buildings. You can do that for any of the ornaments. Now, if you want to actually change the imagery, uh, just go back when you have a look at the ornaments. If they have this icon here, that'll actually signify you can change the color of the grass underneath it. Now, when you actually have one of your ornaments selected, you actually have these arrows here. And you can actually change the individual skin of the ornament if there is options for it with the left and right key or shift and V. And then after that, you can actually 
change the orientation of the actual building by using the comma and full stop. Now, this can also be utilized within the housing as well. So if we have a look at, let's go over here, at the farmer's houses over here. So right we have a farmer's house here. Now, there are multiple skins you can actually utilize for the actual farmer's houses. When it places down, it will usually be a random one. So if we have a look at this and do select U, shift and V. Shift and V. You can actually change the individual skin of your housing. And you can do this across all the tiers. Like a king in one and you can also do it on these skyscrapers as well. And then once you've also got this down as well, you can actually, with the ornaments, you can actually use the comma and full stop to actually rotate the actual housing buildings around as well. So you want unique, specific designs for your buildings. You don't have to go with the standard wrapping around. You could have them inverted on their actual angles as well as you'd like. Now, if you have common places you go on a map, rather than clicking to get the right spot on a map in the right place for you, like, oh, I don't want it there, I actually want it that way around, you actually have the ability to save individual waypoints on each of the maps. And you can do that by holding down Control and utilizing F5 to F8. So if we do Control F5, it will save the angle and placement of the camera and then if we move over here and we get the right place here and we want F6, Control F6 here. And then if we have over here as Control F7, we can do F5, F6, F7. And it will save the orientation and angle of the camera as well. Now, these groups are bound by map. So if you actually have all the DLCs unlocked. F5 and F6 will not jump me straight to the old world on that map. Each of the maps will have their own individual waypoints saved. Now, we also have a similar grouping system for ships as well. So you can actually select a ship and do Control 1. And then you can have another ship here, Control 2. And up here, it will actually give you the grouping here. Or you can do just one, two, and you can utilize all the way up to zero to actually jump to that group of ships. And I say you can utilize that for ship groups of ships. Attention, so we can do Admiral. three. Now, we can go F1 and it jumps us to it. And then we can press F1 again, double click it, and it will jump us directly to the camera angle of that ship. So if we want F2, we jump to that ship, we'll tap it, and we jump directly to that ship. Now, with the groups of ships, it does get a little bit more interesting of how it can actually do it. Now, if we do Control 3, 3, it does that. It just seems to do the lead ship. It doesn't jump you up between them all. Now, what you can do is... You can select the actual ship and do tab and it will jump you between each of those types of ships. So if we have a look at this, it's now going to jump us between each of our trade ships. Now previously you could also use the control F9 and F10 to have two more waypoints for the cameras to be saved however they are utilized for another trick these days so now if we have our camera over here and we want to have a dynamic slow rotation of the camera we can actually do f3 and that will actually rotate the camera now if we do f3 it will invert the rotation and then f3 again will actually turn it off so f3 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 now, if we specify that we want this over here to be control group F9, control and F9, 
What the F9 and F10 keys actually do now is jump you to the actual spot that you've specified. So if we jump here. However, it jumps you straight into no HUD and into rotation. Now you can't press F9 and it alterates the angle or the rotation. Now you can do F10. So if we set over here as F10. F9. F10. So those are some new little tools you can utilize if you're trying to make some cinematic screenshots or videos. And something new for the Anno franchise, which came in with 1800, was the ability to go into first person mode and take a walk around your city. So if you do Control, Shift, and the latter R, you can now go into first person mode and actually see up close the wonders of the city that you've actually built. And there are hidden first person quest givers in here, hidden away that you can only find in this mode. So it is worth going in and just trying them out. There is a guide on my YouTube channel covering this. So if we have a look at something connected to what we've just looked at previously, and that was the ability to press tab and actually jump through your ships. You can also do a similar sort of thing with any housing type or production building or public service building as well so if you ever wonder where are your fire stations or police stations if we have a fire station selected here and press the tab key that will jump us between each of the fire stations on the map and again you can do this for any sort of production building so warehouses Click in a warehouse, press tab, and jump between them. Now, what happens when you have a destroyed building? This is another feature that came in not too long ago. If you press the letter J, J jumps you between each of the destroyed buildings across any of your maps. Now, the best combination for this is to press J, and then you can press the renovate building button here, or just press U for upgrade. Upgrade actually repairs buildings. So you can do J to jump to it. And then upgrade it. As you can see that building over here. We couldn't actually renovate it over here. As we don't actually have the resources. Which will move us nicely on to the next thing we'll have a look at. And that is cargo and ships. So if we have a ship that has brought some repair materials over to this island. What we can do is rather than going into it and then dragging the individual items over or opening up the transfer menu. If you hold down control and as long as you're in range of a pier. Hold down control and click. You can transfer each of the items into the actual warehouse instantaneously. Staying with the ships, another little quick and useful hotkey, and you'll be using it quite a lot, Hi. is if you have a trade route open here, and if we want to sail to this island and load up with wood. Let's load up with wood. Or fish. Let's just keep it simple. Wood. Wood. Okay, this is very slow. So let's cancel that. Once you have the first item loaded, if you hold down shift and click, it will load up all the available slots for wood. And then we can sail to that island. And then we can do click unload the wood. Hold shift. And then it will unload everything. Very useful if you're just trying to do trade routes and you don't want to be clicking continuously. Next, we'll look at a feature very similar to how we were using tab to jump between all of our ships. We can also do a similar sort of thing, but more advanced with housing and production buildings and public service buildings as well. So if you ever want to know where all of your fire stations were, if you select a fire station, 
and tab will jump you between each of the fire stations on the actual map and you can do this for any sort of building so here we're jumping between all the warehouses and it will jump between all the islands over here a handy way if you're trying to find where your fire stations and police stations is where I usually use the most of them, to be fair. Town halls, you can jump between each of the town halls and the trade unions as well. Now, before we get into the building and production buildings, we'll have a look at the stats menu. So here we have the stats menu. And the easy way to remember this is up here we have the production, storage, finance, population, and items. If you just remember QWERT, as in Q-W-E-R-T, and the control is the hyperlink for that. So control Q, control W, E, control R, and control T. That's going to get you into the stats page. Very quickly and easy without having to click on the individual menus on the actual main menu. So let's have a look at the hotkeys I use for building, housing and productions and upgrades and downgrades. So let's have a look at construction and production building. So what hotkeys do I use quite regular here? So the obvious ones we're going to be utilizing is going to be the H for housing. W brings up warehouse. And again, we can use the comma and full stop to rotate the actual buildings. Or mouse click of the scroll wheel. Now with the housing, we again can actually use the shift and V to actually change the skin as previously. And again, comma full stop to rotate. Then we are also going to be utilizing V for going into blueprint mode. Then that's going to get your housing and your storage buildings for production. The next thing you're going to be wanting to do is to get down your roads. So you're going to be starting off with streets. Then you can do S streets. And that does dirt. You do shift S and that does them in pavement. The next one is going to be you for upgrading your housing. Now, unfortunately, you can't upgrade a road to a pavement. You just have to build over the top of them. So when we are on upgrade here, we can click the first one and highlight it and drag it and it'll upgrade them all. We can also do when upgrade is selected, hold down shift and it will upgrade all of them on the island be careful on this one so we upgrade them all it will upgrade them all next thing we can do is hold down alt and that switches the upgrade into a downgrade tool so now we can do a single downgrade or we can highlight an area and do mass downgrades now a similar sort of thing can also be used for the skyscrapers as well so if we have a look over here now, upgrade does not work on the skyscrapers. However, you can do the letter I. And that will bring up the upgrade or increase. I think it's the floors, they call it. So you can upgrade a floor on a building. And then you can hold down Alt. And it will do downgrade. And again, you can do Shift. And you can upgrade or downgrade. So you can do shift and alt and it'll down up downgrade all the buildings on the island. If you let go of shift and it switches to a single, keep shift down. And then you let go of alt and that goes straight up to upgrades. So you can utilize either upgrading skyscrapers, holding shift for multiple, alt for reversing from upgrade to downgrade, and you can use U for upgrades. Now, we've got the housing sorted and we have our warehouses down. One I use a lot as well is going to be, if we jump up over here, is any form of crops. 
So if we have a look at the potato farms here, we put our production building down. Nice day for it. And you hit the potato fields here, and then you can draw them in. Alternatively, let's just get rid of those. Uh, do we have any larger spaces? Mm, not really. Let me just get rid of this here real quick. Now we select the... This affects any sort of crop farm. Select the building and press the letter G. And that will start planting the fields down instantly for us. We can go to there, 72. And then we do that here. Keep that there, that's 67. 71. Now, the other tool we can utilize as well is copy. So if you press C, that brings up the ink blotter. And we can copy you buildings. An influence bonus. You can copy streets. And you can copy combinations of both. And you can also copy crops as well. Now, if you do C on copy on the actual building, it'll copy just the building. If you do C and then drag up to the fields, it'll copy the layout of the fields as well. And the last thing we'll have a quick look at is moving, destroying, and demolishing. So if you want to get rid of a building or a crop, you can do the letter D, and that's the hotkey. And you can just drag individually or highlight a whole area and it'll delete that. Now, uh, I don't have it enabled in this game save, but M is the hotkey for being able to drag and move a building around. And the last thing you can do for destruction is if we go over here and if you have a ship you want to get rid of whether it be the fact that you are running low on influence and you just want to get rid of it you can sell it or you can literally just highlight the actual ship and if you do the del key it will bring up the option to destroy the build uh, ship and there you go those are the hotkeys that I use on a regular basis, and hopefully you've found some new and interesting ones you didn't know about. If there is any other hotkeys you use quite regularly that I haven't noticed or mentioned in this video, please comment down below. If you did enjoy the video, I do appreciate any likes and subscriptions on the video and channel. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.